Thank you. Uh, thank you, Cassandra. I, and let me just say, I, I've got a script, and I'm gonna, I'm, I don't want to scare my communications team. I am going to follow it, but I do want to say a couple of things off script. First of all, Cassandra and her team do a tremendous job for the department. They do a tremendous job for this community, so let's give them The second thing is, if you hadn't heard this, on Saturday night at the Southeastern Emmy Awards, our department had partnered with Georgia Public Broadcasting to film a one-hour documentary about the opioid crisis. All the people in the documentary were Georgians who have, who have lived through opioid addiction. We won the Emmy. So Jill Mays, her team, great job. And I'm assured that we're going to have one of those Emmys to display at the office soon, so we're excited about that. So for those of you who don't know, the Georgia Department of Behavioral Health is a $1.5 billion a year agency. We're the state leader in prevention and behavioral health crisis response here in Georgia. We're the safety net provider here in Georgia for mental health, substance abuse treatment, and disability support. DBHDD propels its vision by delivering access to high quality care that leads to a life of recovery and independence for people we serve throughout Georgia. Those whom we serve are often attaining these services for the first time. We recognize the devastating impact that addiction crisis is having, not just on the mental health and physical health and the well-being, but all of those directly impacted, but also their family members and the communities around our state. For many of us, the epidemic is personal. We know someone who's affected by this terrible disease, whether it's a loved one, a friend, or a neighbor. More than 50% of all Georgians reported knowing someone with an opioid use disorder, and that number continues to grow. Addiction and substance abuse is unique in how it impacts both the mental and physical well-being of those who suffer. This makes it important for us to approach recovery with a focus on the health of the whole person, because as we know, there is no health without mental health. Stigma and faulty outdated beliefs are unnecessary burdens we must eliminate to achieve the major goal in reducing the number of deaths associated with substance abuse and addiction. It's stigma that keeps people from reaching out and seeking the many resources available for a path to recovery. Stigma stands as a major burden in access to competent care, access to quality care, workforce recruitment, and our ability to make significant impact in this area. Stigma reduction through the Georgia Recovers Campaign allows the miracle of recovery to flourish. It's stigma reduction that increases access to care. It's stigma reduction that increases quality of care. It's stigma reduction that encourages those suffering to reach out and to seek help. It's stigma reduction that supports and drives a lifetime of recovery. The state of Georgia and Shatterproof, in partnership with the Georgia Council for Recovery, are focused on reducing the burden of addiction that addiction places on families and transforming addiction treatment. This reimagined campaign we're announcing today is Georgia Recovers, an evidence-based and data-driven campaign that promotes anti-discrimination message through the stories of Georgia residents impacted by substance use disorder. Georgia Recovers aligns with, aligns with ongoing statewide initiatives to reduce overdoses, supports recovery efforts, and educates the public. DBHCD is committed to playing an active role in the solution. We believe it takes embedding ourselves into local communities to help drive lasting change. Solving these problems is going to require intergovernmental coordination and sustained attention. Today continues our forward movement in that very direction. An essential path to continuing our momentum is building a workforce of professionals serving the needs of our fellow citizens who suffer with substance abuse and addiction. Everywhere I see we could better serve Georgians and better access those services through bolstering our workforce. Trust, that's true in our state psychiatric hospitals, which I've been able to see over the last several months as I visited them, our community mental health services, and in community crisis infrastructure that serves children and adults. How we treat our citizens suffering from addiction will propel them and their loved ones 
to access the many resources they need to live healthy and full lives. The more we see people overcome stigma to speak their truth to the impact opioids have had on their lives, the more we can advocate for resources to assist in the recovery. Together, through Georgia Recovers, we will take the power away from prejudice. Together, we will take the power away from discrimination. We will continue to lift up those impacted from the weight of shame, the weight of isolation, and the weight of hopelessness. Together, we will prove that recovery is real in Georgia. Thank you very much for your time and for being here today. Thank you so much. I'm always excited to support the recovery community. It's a big community of people in Georgia, and we know that it's a lifelong struggle for everyone who's in the recovery process. So really proud of all the work that our state is doing in this area, and congratulations to all of you for doing this, and appreciate the invitation. Happy to be with you today. Well, thank you for letting me be here today. I'm Matthew Gamble from House District 15 in Cartersville, but I'm also here as one of the co-chairs of our working group on substance use and recovery in our state, working with the Georgia Council on Recovery. Uh, that is an important work that we have been about now for several years now. And through that process, we've been able to keep this issue at the forefront of our colleagues in the House and Senate, because our working group is bipartisan and it's bicameral, so we have House members and Senate members. This is an issue that's very important to me, it's very important to my community, and so to be able to be here today and, uh, and participate is a great honor. Thank you very much. Thank you, Cassandra. My name is Larissa Guerrero, and I'm a person in long-term recovery. What that means to me is that it's been uh, more than eight years since I've felt the need to use any drugs or alcohol to change the way that I feel. And that, thank you. That is a huge, huge deal to me because for a long time I was filled with so much shame and guilt that I thought someone like me would never be able to find recovery. Due to my recovery, I have a life that I once only dreamed of. I show up for my family and friends and I have better relationships with my parents than I've ever had. I've also started a family of my own and I'm expecting my first little girl in November. <laughs> and she will never have to see me high. Due to my recovery, I also have the honor to serve as the Executive Director of the Georgia Council for Recovery. I get to uh, work with an amazing group of people right here. Shout out to them, they're pretty awesome. Um, and I speak out about my recovery because if my little girl ever develops challenges with drugs and alcohol, I want her to know that she has a community there that she can turn to for help. So she won't have to experience the stigma that so many of us have felt for decades. I speak out about my recovery, and so do so many others here with us today, because it is time we start to change the narrative around substance use disorders. It's time we stop shaming people and discriminating against people with substance use disorders. Back in 2017, DBHDD came to us about starting a new anti-stigma campaign, and we knew immediately that we wanted to do something different with this campaign. We knew the scare tactics of the old anti-drug campaigns were killing our friends and families because they were afraid to reach out for support. We wanted to create something that uplifted the voices of recovery, something that showed a message of hope and that there is no need to feel ashamed if you have challenges with drugs and alcohol. In partnership with DBHDD and Imagine Hope, the Georgia Recovers campaign was created. We grounded our campaign in the, the social norms theory the theory that people's behaviors are influenced by what they perceive to be normal among their peers. We interviewed recovery leaders from across the state to hear their stories. For our first campaign, we selected 18 recovery ambassadors who represented our diverse Georgia communities. In the second campaign, we worked with another 16 recovery ambassadors, one of which is gonna share her story shortly. They shared their stories of hope and perseverance through videos and billboards. We were able to achieve remarkable success with the first Georgia Recovers campaign. 
With our most recent team of 16 recovery ambassadors, the campaign generated a total of 181 million impressions. So that's it. And that was just in the year uh, 2022. So millions of individuals saw that campaign and heard those stories. The billboards were strategically placed uh, with 14 static billboards in Atlanta, LaGrange, and Savannah, along with 22 digital billboards rotating around Atlanta, Rome, and Savannah. In addition, there were nine billboards in the Columbus area, and then also two digital direct campaign, or two digital billboards in the Grange area. As part of the digital direct campaign during Thanksgiving and the holidays, because of those, those of you that have experienced substance use disorders, you know that can be a tough time, we had another 40 additional digital billboards displayed over the holiday season. So please, if we could give a hand to some of our Georgia Recovers ambassadors that are here with us today. They were brave enough to share their stories and have their faces on billboards. So we are incredibly grateful to Cassandra and her team at DBHDD for all their support over the past 15 years. This campaign wouldn't have been possible without them. We also want to give a special thank you to Commissioner Tanner uh, and his steadfast and already strong leadership. The support of him and Governor Kemp is really making a huge impact on our recovery community, so thank you. And we are grateful, very, very grateful to partner with Shatter, the Chatterproof team uh, to continue building on the work and history of Georgia Recovers. As we celebrate the launch of uh, this year's Georgia Recovers campaign in partnership with DBHDD and Shatterproof, I want to leave you with the, with the message that Georgia does recover and that recovery is real. Thank you. Great, thank you all for being here. And uh, first, I want to extend our gratitude to Governor Kemp and Commissioner Tanner and his wonderful team. Uh, including Sandra at, at uh, DBHDD. Uh, we're also just thrilled uh, to have this opportunity to collaborate and partner uh, with the Georgia Council on Recovery. Uh, and just really want to thank you and commend you for all the, the great work that uh, is the foundational, really, of, of starting this campaign, Georgia Recovers. So it's really exciting to, to come in and have that, that kind of uh, collaboration. And we know that the success, the future of success, will depend on just those kind of partnerships here uh, in Georgia. Uh, a bit about Shatterproof, our background, uh, we are dedicated to reducing uh, the, the uh, impact of addiction on families and their communities. Uh, we're a national nonprofit. Our mission is to provide trusted guidance uh, through the complexities of substance use disorder and to remove systemic and cultural barriers to a strong recovery. We support enactment of policy changes uh, at the federal and state level, and we work with uh, uh, local and national uh, uh, events to uh, reduce stigma as well in the communities. Uh, part of this comes from our founding. We're 10 years old now. Our founder, uh, Gary Mandel, lost his son, Brian, to addiction. Brian had been through eight different treatment facilities over eight years be finally, uh, before finally losing his life, not to addiction, but to actually the, the shame that he felt from it. And that's a story that is not unlike uh, many others. And while Gary, our founder, had achieved a, a level of success in, in his business, which was the hotel business, he uh, did not do that in, in navigating addiction and um, with his son, Brian. And part of what made that uh, so heartbreaking was that there were so many other families going through that same journey. So we know that uh, Gary's journey is one that's similar, and that started the founding of Shatterproof now uh, 10 years ago. We know that Gary and his family aren't alone and that there's many people uh, in Georgia that experience the same. Uh, in fact, SAMHSA's national survey on drug use and health shows that 46 million Americans are uh, impacted by substance use disorders. And among those, uh, many are Georgians. We know that overdose deaths are up 55 percent over the last couple of years from 2019 to 2021 in Georgia, and that uh, fentanyl-related overdose deaths are up 218 percent in that same period. And we know that it's actually shame that keeps a lot of people from 
uh, from uh, you know reaching out for recovery, and, and it creates the isolation that is often a barrier to life-saving medications and treatment. And that's why it's so important to uh, address the shame that's felt from stigma uh, that makes them less likely to reach out to a family member or less likely to reach out to the medical professional. And so we need to bring the burden of addiction out of the shadows and into the light, and stigma limits the knowledge and facts, and that leads people to life-saving uh, remedies and, and uh, interventions. So this campaign is really about uh, a multi-pronged approach, which is designed to address the feelings of rejection and discrimination experienced by those with substance use disorder, and also to educate the community in which uh, they live in so that they can uh, have a more a welcoming environment to, uh, to seek those, those life-saving tools. Uh, we've built this, uh, this piece of it that Shatterproof's been working on, um, really modeled off some of the transformational social movements that have catalyzed changes uh, in communities that is focused on compassionate and healthier futures. And we're committing to creating the solutions that are effective at changing knowledge, attitudes, and behaviors. And we've launched this initiative in several other states, including Pennsylvania, Kentucky, California, and now, of course, Georgia, and we're just thrilled to be here uh, in partnership with the uh, Council on Recovery. And the new area of, uh, of Georgia Recovers is a partnership, uh, and it's, as I said, a multi-pronged approach that's felt uh, uh, for all that are focused on re reducing discrimination experienced by those, and it's re uh, rooted in community connections, benefiting from the wealth of knowledge of the community leaders here in Georgia already. In closing, we all have an opportunity, whether we are impacted or not, to change the course of what is, what is a major public health crisis in Georgia and on the national landscape as well. And we can change it from one of fear and loss to one of hope and fulfillment. And every single one of us can be part of that solution through hopeful and empowering words, treating substance use disorder like a medical condition and addressing it with compassion and love that is a fundamental aspect of addiction recovery. Compassion saves lives, and we ask that you share our resources and come join us on, Georgia, on the Georgia Recovers campaign. And uh, please visit Georgia Recovers or GARecovers.org as we join this journey of hope and opportunity here in Georgia. So thank you again for being here. As Kevin mentioned, Georgia Recovers will be an impactful initiative as it uses a contact-based strategy to reduce addiction discrimination by showing the faces, and sharing the experiences of people impacted by a substance use disorder, we can build empathy and compassion. This campaign has been rooted in Georgia communities for years, thanks to transformational videos and billboards created by the Georgia Council for Recovery. We are absolutely honored to be included as a partner to further efforts to reduce the devastation from addiction discrimination so that more people can have access to life-saving resources. Through this campaign, powerful stories will be shared widely using social media to reach Georgia residents across the state, boosted by digital influencers and complemented by support from local community organizations who serve as trusted messengers. Georgia Recovers invites you to treat people without judgment. When people are treated without discrimination, they're more likely to talk with people they trust and ask for support. By leveraging our resources and partnerships, we are confident Georgia Recovers will have a measurable and continued impact on addiction discrimination. Attitude and behavior change takes time. We learned recently that our campaign in Kentucky, known as Unshamed Kentucky, is associated with lower levels of public stigma, structural stigma, and treatment stigma. We saw a measurable difference in community members willing to interact with people with an opioid use disorder both personally and professionally. Additionally, the campaign has shown impact and awareness of and access to treatment and harm reduction initiatives within local communities. More than 70% of individuals exposed to the campaign are confident they could find treatment for an opioid use disorder within their state, and we saw a significant increase in knowledge of naloxone and where to find it, as well as an understanding of medicinal treatment and treatment services within the state. Our tagline is together in healing, together in hope, and today's announcement continues to bring that hope. 
Hope that our friends, family members, colleagues, and neighbors can access the resources they need to live healthy and full lives. Hope that we can end this epidemic that is hurting our communities and begin the healing process. This partnership is about building hope, which will unite us and drive us to a better tomorrow. This initiative is curated with Georgians and driven by Georgians, leveraging the collective impact of, a multi of multifaceted communities working together. Well, good afternoon, everyone. People used to always ask me, why do you get so excited when you talk about recovery? Well, I remember when I was in active addiction and baby, let me tell you, it was nothing nice. I could really cry. I was stuck in a dark hole for so many years and I had made up my mind that that is where my life would end. Heroin had, capital H-A-D, complete control of my life and I didn't care if I lived or if I died, but God had another plan for me. My name is Jasmine Turner and today I am a person in long-term recovery. What that means for me is that I haven't used any drugs, alcohol, or mind-altering substances since April the 12th of 2011. <laughs> My recovery has afforded me to love me again, to be a present mom, to be a better daughter, a friend, a aunt, a niece, a cousin, and a better person overall. Today I am a college graduate and I'm a productive member of society. I am the recovery minister over at North Atlanta Church over in uh, the Dunwoody Sandy Springs area. And today I am excited about recovery. Yes. All right, excuse me, but that's how I get when it comes to recovery, all right? Another gift that recovery has afforded me was to be named one of the uh, recovery ambassadors here in the state of Georgia. Last year, I was able to drive down I-75 and see a billboard with my face, with my mom Carol's face, and with my son Manny's face on it. This is not on my script, but 13 years ago, y'all, I was in the wintertime in Chicago with a wife beater on, 20 below zero, walking trying to get my next one, and the dope man say, go over here, and I say, yes sir. Because it had such control over me. So to see my face on the billboard, I'm grateful. <laughs> Can't see it now. <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> To God be the glory, all right. <laughs> all right. Thank you to the Georgia Council for Recovery, each and every one of you, the ones I know, the ones I don't know, we family. All right, thank you to the DBHDD, the ones I know and the ones I don't know. Thank you to everybody here from the State Senate. Thank you to uh, 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 Shatterproof. Thank you to everybody here right now. I appreciate you guys for allowing me to be a part of something so special. But like I said, I used to walk the streets of Chicago to get my next high, and today I get to proudly walk into the Georgia State Capitol to talk about the gift of recovery. Today I am a hope dealer, amen. So when you hear the term Georgia recovers, think about me. When you hear the term Georgia recovers, think about the thousands of peers across the state of Georgia who are currently living in long-term recovery and are actively paving the way for others to come behind us. The next time somebody asks me, why do I talk about recovery so much? My answer will be, because I can. That's why. And I don't mean that in a smart way. I mean that literally. I can talk about recovery because I don't want to talk about what was back there, amen? 
Amen. <laughs> hmm. I'm beyond grateful that I did not die while I was using. I was given a second chance at life, so I will continue to live my recovery out loud because I want to give someone else hope to know that recovery is possible for them too, no matter what. Yeah.